We know the quantity of metal that we expect off a job, what metal buyer will be purchasing that. We know where our wood chips are going, if it's for mulch or for cogen. We know where our film plastics are going. We know what items that we will salvage and we've already found the end users for those items. Here at Zanker, one of the other materials that we recycle is gypsum wallboard. We take the gypsum wallboard in, we clean up the loads, uh, we take the wallboard, we grind it, and we screen it. We make it into an agricultural product that we sell into farms. The paper from the, the wallboard, we separate that material out and we compost the paper. Therefore, we're actually reusing 100% of the gypsum wallboard. We're struggling with construction debris and commercial business waste. And so we've done a couple of things. Uh, we've put an ordinance in place that requires businesses to recycle construction debris and which also addresses uh, those businesses post-occupancy. In effect, we condition businesses to recycle once the tenant comes in or the owner comes in and occupies the business. We've also built a load consolidation area because we collect all of our own waste here in the city. We're in a position to sort some of those roll-off boxes to get additional tonnage. Where we are right now is a load consolidation area at our city landfill. We're separating the load of cardboard, plastic, metal. We get it out of the area. And once, we, once they load it into the bucket, it goes into our roll-offs and we take it out of the landfill to divert as much as we can out of the landfill. And as the gentlemen are working here, you notice they're grabbing any kind of metal, wood, everything they can separate out that could be reusable and recycled. The City of Redlands also has a recycling ordinance which requires commercial builders to um, separate and recycle during their construction phase and it also makes it mandatory for them to recycle post-occupancy. It has economic benefits for them to source separate on premise. They can separate their dimensional lumber, their concrete, their aluminum and all kinds of other different metals that they might be dealing with and that will save them money in their hauling of that material to the recycler. The main benefit to the environment is that that material will not make it to the landfill. That's what we want to do. We want to divert those types of recyclable materials from the landfill. They do have markets that they can be recycled to. It's understood that separating materials at a demolition site is more difficult than at new construction sites because of contamination of materials. Construction and demolition debris vary a great deal. Construction debris is generally a lot lighter, higher in volume, it's a lot less dense than demolition debris. Demolition debris is often processed to the fullest extent so it's able to be loaded into trucks. To process demolition debris effectively, it's great if it can be source separated by the demolition contractor on site. This allows materials to be pulled out you get cleaner materials by source separating them and this also saves the contractor money which in turn saves the client money. 